So in my last video, I made the comment that I believe the next Star Wars trilogy coming out is going to be the Benioff and Wise trilogy, and as it turns out, that is apparently true, as Bob Iger has gone on record to say that Benioff and Wise will be writing the next trilogy coming out starting in 2022, and uh, there's a lot of mixed feelings about it right now. So for the 99% of the world's population that is obsessed with Game of Thrones right now, I'm only on season two, so I can't say much, apparently last week's episode of Game of Thrones, I think it's the second to last episode, apparently did not go over very well with a lot of the fan base and everyone is really hating on Benioff and Wise for the writing of season 8. So apparently because of this they've gone from being known as Benioff and Wise, the guys that brought you seven great seasons of, of Game of Thrones to Benioff and Wise, the guys that ruined season 8 of Game of Thrones and that's all they're being known for. They're just completely ignoring all of the stuff that we've seen before in past seasons and apparently they're just focusing on the fact that season 8 is apparently not that good. I have not seen it, therefore I cannot comment on it, that's just what I'm being told. And of course with that in mind, it really does not help the fact that Star Wars is in kind of a tricky predicament right now. In some cases, yes, it's flourishing, it's doing great, you know, it's got these TV series coming out for Disney+, Plus. some of the movies are doing pretty great, others not so much, the books are doing just fine. Some of the comics and the games and all that we got we it's it's got its whole thing going you know it's got a, it's a process but now we're stuck in the situation that is what is going to happen with this new trilogy of movies we're just assuming it's a trilogy because they've announced three movies we don't know if it's going to be like a trilogy that is made into like six films is in there you know they're going to do the benny off and wise trilogy to start then they're going to do ryan johnson then they're going to go back to benny and wise and johnson and go that way I don't know. I don't think that's what they're going to be doing. I'm pretty sure it's just going to stick with the one trilogy for right now being the Benioff and Wise trilogy. And within that three year gap between now and 2022, we're just going to be getting the stuff on Disney+. Plus. We've got The Mandalorian coming out this November. We've got the Cass and Andor series. And there's talks of a third series that is apparently going to be coming out. No information on that. But now everyone is just so really concerned with the fact that Benioff and Wise are just apparently screwing up this last season of Game of Thrones. Are they going to ruin Star Wars? And Star Wars is already in a tricky spot, especially since The Last Jedi really just kind of ruined it for a lot of people because apparently no one was ready for it. And because apparently Ryan Johnson is the guy that made, he directed the movie, therefore he ruined Star Wars. He made the worst Star Wars film ever. He ruined the plot. I don't know what's happening with this now. I do think it's smart that Disney decided to back off on the Ryan Johnson trilogy thing, assuming that it's still a thing. I hope it still becomes a thing, because I personally like The Last Jedi. That's my public opinion. But it's the general synopsis that if they're just going to keep up with this hate train coming in, I don't want to go into this new Star Wars movie and sit in this just toxic sludge of an audience that's just like, oh, I bet this movie's going to be terrible. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, because apparently where I live... Every time I go to the opening premiere nights, everyone's cheering, everyone's clapping, everyone's having a great time, and everyone seems to thoroughly enjoy the movie. So, I don't know, maybe it's just the viewing portion that I go to see. But if Ryan Johnson is apparently the guy that screwed up Star Wars, and they're going to take him down, and you're going to throw Benioff and Wise in to create this new trilogy, and they're apparently going to be known as the guys that screwed up Game of Thrones, what is that going to say for Star Wars? Probably nothing, but there's going to be a good chunk of the audience that's like, oh my god, I can't believe that. And I even posted it on my Facebook page, you know, I was like, Oh, cool. The next trilogy is going to be the Benioff and Wise trilogy. I'm down for it because they're good at writing that kind of stuff. And the first comment I get is, oh, great. They're going to ruin Star Wars just like they did Game of Thrones. And I'm like, what is the matter with you people? And the thing about it is like, you can't necessarily ruin this Star Wars story if it's just completely new characters. Now, you know, if I was a betting man, I would say that it's probably going to be the Old Republic trilogy that's going to be made. And that's what everyone's been rumoring at, because Benioff and Wise, if they were to make a Star Wars trilogy, setting it in the Old Republic timeline would be a great way to go. Now, if they use some characters we already know, like Revan, Basil, and Malak, you know the whole ensemble. Maybe it could get a little rocky, but if they're going to do what Disney has been doing and has just been kind of redoing most of the original EU, you're going to make up new characters, make up their own new Old Republic... You're going to have people that hate it because it's not the Old Republic they know. But there's also going to be people that'll be like, well, you can't really screw that up because you're making it yourself. You're not using characters that were already known and tied to. You know, we're not taking Luke and killing him off like everyone got pissed off with Ryan Johnson for with how he threw away Luke or whatever they claim that he did. So there's a lot of things to look into here. And personally, I think Benioff and Wise are going to do just fine. And if this turns out to be an Old Republic storyline like everyone really wants to see then, you know, maybe we'll all be pleasantly surprised and it'll actually be a great story. And look at it, they got three movies to do. One trilogy with year breaks in between. They've got plenty of time to sit there and think about how they're going to do these films before releasing, you know, one after the other. And then we can take a step back and we've got three years of planning to go on top of what they possibly were already doing while doing Game of Thrones. 
So they've got plenty of time to get a story together and get it all drawn out so this new trilogy can come in and really start building back up what Star Wars used to be. Hopefully the TV shows are going to do that something too because they're going to be like their own little project. And with these TV shows being put into the Disney streaming service and only being released there, it's going to be a whole different monster and they're going to have a lot more room to do a lot of different things with that. So I think we're going to see a different side of Star Wars and something that actually adds to the story and starts building it back up to what Star Wars used to be, quote unquote, for some of the fans, you know, and bring it back to what it could be at, you know, bring it back to its peak when Star Wars was like at its best and not crumbling under all of these fan outlash. That's absolutely outrageous. So another thing that I think is a little worrisome is that they've already given out the release date for the next movie and it's going to be December 12th, 2022. Why is that concerning? is because apparently there is talks that it's going to have a bit of a box office battle because that is the exact same day as the release of Aquaman 2. Now I know what you're thinking. Aquaman against Star Wars? There's no contest. Star Wars is easily going to beat out Aquaman every time. Now, naturally, I would agree, but in the current state that Star Wars is at, with the amount of money that it can make and with the amount of money that it is making, it could possibly have a run for its money going up against Aquaman because the first one coming out, no one expected it to do well and it somehow made a billion dollars at the box office and actually turned out to be a pretty okay movie. Now, of course, I kind of think that either movie is going to realize that this is a threat and if this is true and both of these movies are going to be coming out at the exact same day on December 12th of 2022, that I imagine that they're going to either one of the movies is going to get pushed up or one of the movies is going to get pushed back. Not like by a month or anything, but like within like two weeks time. Just because if you have these movies, they're going to be at this high of a caliber, especially one as big of a staple as Star Wars going up against a DC property that's trying to also rebuild its name. That is something that you really need to think about. And I don't think these movies being released at the same time could be good for really anyone. And on any other day, if Star Wars had not been on such a rocky trail that it's been on these past couple years, I would have said there's not a problem with being released against Aquaman 2. If anything, Aquaman 2 is going to get completely crushed by Star Wars. But right now, with the fan base as split as it is after The Last Jedi and the fact that it's just kind of like really wonky and we really have like no clue what's going to be coming next and if it's going to stay stable and if the franchise is going to stay alive after the rise of skywalker really it's just all going to depend on what star wars does with these three years off with the disney streaming service and if it can really regain the fan base that it had pre the last jedi you know about the time when the force awakens first came out now i am excited for aquaman too i was actually very shocked with the first one and i really enjoyed the movie but i still don't think it would be a good idea to put it up against star wars and vice versa considering now that aquaman 2 is also going to be projected to break about over a billion dollars at the box office throughout its entire run especially with a lot of the star wars films now since the last jedi's box office numbers dropped dramatically since the force awakens and solo underperformed horribly that they had to cancel the next two solo films so it's a very very tricky situation but i imagine we're going to get more in that as the years go on and we've got plenty of time for me to cover all of the little things that come out up until the release of this movie but until we get some more concrete evidence on what's going to be going on next that's going to be all for this video guys remember if you like what you saw be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more star wars discussion videos or if you'd like to see anything else but until then and as always i will see you guys next time